from Nostradamus' famous prophecies to a woman who foretold the assassination of a US president, here are nine people who predicted historic events. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. <laughs> Number 9. Nostradamus Born Michel de Nostradamus and commonly Latinized as Nostradamus, this 16th century physician and reputed oracle is best known for The Prophecies, a collection of 942 poetic quatrains. These four-line poems have been often credited with predicting historic events. Since his work was first published in 1555, Nostradamus' alleged predictions have amassed many followers and often benefited from the support of popular media. However, his work is rejected as genuine foretelling in most academic circles, which also doesn't support the notion that Nostradamus had any supernatural abilities. Aside from mistranslations, which were sometimes done on purpose, the quatrains are described as vague enough to apply to virtually any scenario. There's an argument that Nostradamus didn't make predictions, statements about events that are known before they happen, but postdictions, statements that ring true only after the events have occurred. Interpretation is usually where the line is drawn between skeptics and believers. For example, there are lines in his work which can be accurately translated as earth-shaking flames from the world center roar and make the world around a new city quiver. For some people, that may sound like Nostradamus predicted 9-11, while to others it might be open enough for any interpretation. Other lines may seem to be harder to deny, such as, the blood of the just will be lacking in London, burnt up in the fire of 66, which seems to predict the Great Fire of London, which took place in 1666. Other notable predictions attributed to him include world wars, the atomic bomb, the French Revolution, as well as the rise of both Napoleon and Hitler. Regardless of where you stand when it comes to Nostradamus' work, a conversation on people who predicted the future undoubtedly warrants his inclusion. Number 8. Scrubs Maybe it was merely a coincidence or maybe one of the writers of the TV series Scrubs had a prophetic moment. In a 2006 episode, the janitor, a character played by Neil Flynn, makes a rather eerie comment to the show's main protagonist. He claims that, in his opinion, the US armed forces should be looking for Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. At the time, nobody thought much of the comment regarded as part of the show's comedic writing and the character's typical dry delivery. Then, in 2011, Osama was found to be hiding out at a compound in Pakistan where he was killed by members of SEAL Team 6. This has sparked several conspiracy theories, most of which don't go too far in terms of credibility. Number 7. Tanner Hoy American psychic Tanner Hoy reportedly predicted a deadly terrorist attack on a building in Oklahoma City 90 minutes before it took place. Hoy made his prediction in 1995 during a live radio program in Fayetteville, North Carolina, about an hour and a half later, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols unleashed what would be the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil prior to 9-11. On the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building, at least 168 people were killed and hundreds were injured. However, this wasn't the first time that Hoy had made this prediction. He'd allegedly told the FBI about the attack months before it took place. Number 6. Simpsons it's well known that during the show's 30-year-long airtime, writers for The Simpsons have made several predictions. Among the most significant was the presidency of Donald Trump and, according to writer Dan Greeney, the joke was meant to reflect a vision of America going insane. Other notable predictions that came true include Disney's bid to acquire Fox, Greece's debt default, several technological developments and the NSA spying scandal. Perhaps one of the most fascinating aspects about the show's predictions involves the discovery of the Higgs boson. The God particle was confirmed by scientists at the Large Hadron Collider in 2012, but Homer Simpson might have hinted at its mass in 1998. In an episode entitled The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, Homer decides to become an inventor. He's pictured standing in front of a blackboard with an equation on it. It's been reported that once the equation is worked out, the result is the mass of a Higgs boson 
only slightly larger than it's actually been discovered to be. That's still quite remarkable when considering that Homer made the prediction 14 years before the Hadron Collider discovery. Number 5. Ferdinand Fock Marshal Ferdinand Jean-Marie Fock served as the Supreme Allied Commander during World War I. After the war was over, Fock accepted the German request for an armistice. However, he believed that the terms of the Treaty of Versailles were too lenient on Germany and that the country should have been further weakened of the resources to rise again. On June 28, 1919, as the treaty was being signed, Fock declared, this is not a peace. It is an armistice for 20 years. In saying so, the military commander essentially predicted World War II, which by general consensus began with Germany's invasion of Poland. It took place on September the 1st, 1939, precisely 20 years and 65 days after Fock uttered those infamous words. Number 4. Jules Verne Jules Verne has been credited with making a number of predictions, particularly regarding scientific achievements. In 1865, Verne published a novel called From the Earth to the Moon. He described a manned vehicle launched by the US in a projectile aiming to land on the moon over a hundred years before Apollo 11. The shape and size of the projectile closely resembled that of the Apollo spacecraft. Just as the Apollo 11 mission, the launch takes place from Florida and the crew consists of three men who splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on the return to Earth. Without knowing how a trip to outer space would affect gravity, the author also predicted weightlessness. However, he wasn't correct in his interpretation of where it would take place as he described it at the midpoint of the journey, when the gravity between the Earth and the Moon is balanced. Nevertheless, when considering the fact that his novel was written more than a century prior to the Moon landing, Verne's foresight is still quite remarkable. Number 3. William Lendrum Mitchell Often regarded as father of the US Air Force, General William Lendrum Mitchell produced a rather visionary intelligence report in 1925. When asked to describe how a future war with Japan would unfold, Mitchell wrote that the Japanese would attack Pearl Harbor on Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and Clark Field in the Philippines at 10.40 a.m. While he was a bit off on the dates, the rest unfolded with remarkable accuracy. 16 years after Mitchell's report, Sunday, December the 5th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor at 7.55 a.m. and Clark Field at 12.35 p.m. Number 2. Morgan Robertson Morgan Robertson's novella, The Wreck of the Titan, isn't a case of art mirroring life, but rather a case of art predicting it with incredible accuracy. Written in 1898, before the RMS Titanic was even conceptualized, the novella describes a fictional ocean liner named Titan, the largest of its kind, which is described as unsinkable. The Titan does eventually sink after hitting an iceberg in the North Atlantic, and there aren't enough lifeboats for everyone on board. So far, the similarities between the novella and the real-life events surrounding the RMS Titanic are uncanny, but it doesn't end here. Both the Titan and the Titanic had similar proportions and struck the iceberg on an April night while traveling at similar speeds, 25 and 22 knots. Both struck the iceberg on the starboard side while they were 400 nautical miles from Newfoundland. In the aftermath of the sinking of the Titanic, the only explanation that some could find for the similarities was that Robertson was clairvoyant. The author denied the claim and attributed the similarities to his extensive knowledge of maritime trends and shipbuilding. Be that as it may, some still aren't convinced that Robertson lacked supernatural abilities, while others have created several conspiracy theories about the sinking of the Titanic based on his novella. Number 1. Gene Dixon Gene Dixon was a famous self-proclaimed psychic and astrologer who reportedly predicted the election and death of US President John F. Kennedy. In a 1956 issue of Parade magazine, Dixon wrote that the 1960 election would be won by a Democrat who would die or be assassinated in office. She became known to the general public through the 1965 book, A Gift of Prophecy. The phenomenal Gene Dixon, which was written by Ruth Montgomery and sold over 3 million copies. Dixon's foretelling of the Kennedy assassination 
soon made other people in the White House follow her predictions. They included President Richard Nixon, who set up a committee on counterterrorism after Dixon claimed attacks would take place on US soil. She was also one of the astrologers that gave advice to Nancy Reagan, however, the psychic wasn't always right. She predicted the Soviets would be the first to put a man on the moon, circumstances for the beginning of World War III, and other things that didn't happen. A mathematician coined the term the Gene Dixon effect in reference to the fact that people often tend to focus on the predictions that came true instead of those that didn't. Dixon was a devout Roman Catholic and claimed that her prophetic abilities came from God. When she died in 1997, her last words were, I knew this would happen. Thanks for watching. Whose prediction do you think was most accurate? Let us know in the comments section below.